World Citizen Peace is dedicated to empowering people to create a just and peaceful world. World Citizen Peace offers three pathways to peace. By joining as an international peace site, becoming a peace ambassador, and supporting peace education in our homes, schools, and in the wider community. The purpose of peace education is to help us become more mindful about peace in our daily lives, provide ideas and resources for peace action, and learn from peacemakers in the world so that together we can create cultures of peace where we live and work. World Citizen Pathways are grounded firmly in our five peace actions. Seek peace within yourself and others. Reach out in service. Protect the environment. Respect diversity. Be a responsible citizen of the world. In this video, we explore the peace action, reach out and service. I'll be your peace guide, Julie Lilly. Go ahead and grab something to write down your reflections, idea and learning, and we'll dive right in. Reaching out in service is a way to express your commitment to peace education and to the world around you. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, the purpose of life is to live it, to taste experience to the utmost, to reach out eagerly and without fear for newer and richer experience. Reaching out in service allows us to seek peace with others as it connects us and strengthens community. It provides opportunities to engage with diverse people respectfully. Reaching out in service is also a way for us to seek peace within as giving and helping others and nature can reduce stress and increase health and happiness. You might reach out in service to protect the environment or when being a responsible citizen of the world. In essence, this peace action, reach out in service, encompasses all of the other four peace actions. Before we explore more, let's take a moment to pause and reflect. In what ways have you reached out in service to help nature or others in the past? How did you feel during and after this experience? As always, feel free to pause this video as you need. This peace action, Reach Out in Service, seeks to empower you. Pete's education is deeply rooted in empowerment and creates a sense of hope. Hope for one's future, that others have all the possibilities they need for a fulfilling life and hope for the protection and restoration of our planet. Through peace education, we wonder about the current states of life and create a vision of a more just future for all. One flows from caring solely about their own needs and wants and perhaps that of their close relationships to a person who values their uniqueness and honors their interconnectedness with all. This in part can be realized as we reach out in service. There are many ideas for how you might reach out in service. One person truly can make such an impact. Sometimes you might have a feeling in your heart about where you can connect and serve. Your mission may grow within the larger mission of caring for the world on whatever level you find yourself. Here are a few more ideas to consider for how you might reach out in service. You might volunteer. Think about your interests. Would you volunteer at an animal shelter, a nursing home, uh, helping at a park, cleaning up trash, maybe at a school or a community garden or food bank. Reaching out in service is really just helping someone in need. It can be as simple and also profound as a simple smile and gesture. A donation, a mentorship, providing assistance like with transportation, sharing food. Let's take a moment to pause and reflect. What brings you joy? What are you passionate about in your community? Think about what empowers you. 
Thinking about what brings you joy and fills you with passion or empowers you is a great starting point for how you might reach out in service. There are so many additional reasons to reach out in service too. For example, getting involved in your community ultimately strengthens it, and that in return makes the world a better place for all. Reaching out in service can make such a huge difference in someone else's life, even if you don't see the impact right away. When you help others in our environment, you're also showing generosity, kindness, compassion, and a sense of care. In this way, you become a role model to inspire and empower others as well. Reaching out in service can also bring special meaning to your life, a sense of purpose or accomplishment, which in return can build confidence. As you are helping out, you are likely also learning new things about others and the area you're supporting. Volunteering is also a wonderful opportunity to meet new people and improve your problem-solving skills. All in all, you'll feel more connected to your inner compass as well as to all life around you. Plus, it can be a lot of fun too. Let's take another moment to pause and reflect. Look back about what brings you joy and connects you to your passion or empowers you. How could this become an act of service to your family, community, or any other level of humanity? What can you do to make a small or a large impact? Even if you do not directly work with children or youth, you carry an impact on future generations through your decisions and your role modeling. After all, you've heard me say it before, we are interconnected. Let's explore how this peace action might be experienced with our child or youth learners. Peace education has strong ties to service and guiding learners to support their community. So reaching out in service offers student opportunities to impact issues that matter to them the most. An excellent way to do this is by fostering passion projects and allowing students voice and choice in their own education. It is this empowered and experiential learning that allows students to be an active participant in their own growth and education. John Dewey famously stated, education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. This is such an important concept to remember in peace education as it's really a dynamic juxtaposition of creating opportunity and allowing students to guide the learning environment. Reaching out in service allows learners to have ownership and a sense of efficacy in their classroom, their school, and their communities. Actively teaching students to speak up for themselves and others in a positive way and to help others through advocacy and justice. Additionally, it is important to offer these open-ended ideas or questions and listen to all student voices. Find out what matters to them, whether it's personally or something within their community. Use their voice, their feedback as a springboard to set up opportunities to reach out in service. It's important for learners to see that they can make a difference in their classroom, school, and community and really all levels of humanity. This peace action, Reach Out in Service, carries a strong call to action. We invite you to set an intention for how you will reach out in service to others. Think about how you might be needed in your community. Make a plan of action. Identify some potential barriers or challenges that could impact your plans of reaching out in service. Envision how it may feel for you and for others when you put this plan into action. We are grateful that you've taken the time to learn, to think, and to reflect about the peace action, reach out in service. We invite you to share how you are aligned to or implementing this peace action. 
send a note or a picture, really any other reach out and service artifact that you would love to share to peace actions at worldcitizenpeace.org. Thank you and take care. <laughs>